Hi there. This is a short tutorial for teachers and tutors on how to use a great little system called PollEverywhere.com. PollEverywhere.com is an instant audience feedback system where students can answer polls online and where the answers appear live on the screen in the classroom. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for an account in the green box. Once you've done that, you go to the login screen and use your email address to sign in to PollEverywhere.com. The first screen that appears is a list of all the polls you've already created. Now I'm going to create a new poll for the purpose of this demonstration and I'm going to create a very simple question. What is your favourite colour? You then click OK. Now, at this point, you will need to click Convert to Multiple Choice because I, I want this to be a multiple choice question. So I'm going to create two answers for this demonstration, blue and green, and then click Continue. Now, you can create more than two answers. You could create four or six or as many as you like. Now, as you can see, the poll has been created. And there are two ways that you can answer this poll. The first way is by sending a text message to this telephone number. And the second way is submitting a response via the internet on pollev.com. Now I've created my own URL, which is slash David's class. When you sign up for your own account, you can create your own web space there. And what I'm going to do for this demonstration is to go onto the internet on my mobile phone and go on to pollev.com slash David's class, which has now appeared on my mobile phone. And I can see the question, which is, which is what the students would see if you were in a classroom situation. And I've got two answers, blue or green. So I'm just going to click on my favourite colour. And as you can see, almost instantly, the answer appears on the poll on the screen in the classroom. Now, if you can imagine, if you've got a classroom of 10, 15 or more people all texting in their answers to the poll, you'll instantly get a, a really good um, summary of people's opinions. So I think this is a really good way of engaging students, getting them to use their mobile phones in a learning situation and it's very interactive. I've used it a few times and I'm really pleased with the students' reaction and the learning that can be done using this system. The second thing you can do is create a free formats poll. So I'm going to create a new poll now to show you how this works. What's your dream car? I then click OK. I don't want multiple choice for this because I'd like the students to type in their answers to the poll. So again, they can submit answers via a text message or via pollev.com slash David's class. So again, I'm going to go onto my mobile phone and the question appears on the screen. So I'm going to type in an answer. OK, I've done that. And within a second or two, you'll see that the answer that I typed in on my phone appears on the screen. Now, again, if you can imagine if you've got a full classroom, you'll have a long list of answers coming up on the screen. And it's a really good way to create a talking point to discuss the answers and for students to be engaged um, in responding to the question that you've asked them. These questions, of course, can be quite complex if you'd like them to be. And the feedback I've had so far from students is that they really enjoy it and they're asking for more. So I'm going to try and build more of these polls into my lesson plans. And I, re I can really recommend that you try it as well. PollEverywhere.com. Sign up for an account and give it, give it a go. Good luck.